Prince William is planning to be political in a major split from the Royal Family Convention. Hello, welcome to the Royal Daily Times, before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British Royal Family news. Prince William's statement on the Gaza conflict this week sparked huge backlash over his unusual political stance. Prince William will seek to move away from the royal family's traditional stance of not being political during his time as Prince of Wales, according to a royal source. While company members are expected to show no political allegiance or affiliation and remain neutral on all matters, William's statement on Tuesday calling for peace in Gaza represents a departure from that perspective. The source told the Daily Beast that such statements should be expected from the prince more often. When he feels the need to say something, he will do it, he said. Another source added that although William must be more ambiguous in his formulation as king, King Charles has also used his position as Prince of Wales to speak out on issues that matter to him. Charles has also faced occasional criticism for his outspokenness, a quality he did not share with his mother, the late Queen Elizabeth II, with a palace aide telling the Times she would have avoided a hot potato between Israel and Gaza. In a statement issued during his visit to the British Red Cross on Tuesday, William said, I remain deeply concerned about the terrible human cost of the conflict in the Middle East since the Hamas terrorist attack on 7 October. Too many have been killed. I, like many others, want to see an end to the fighting as soon as possible. There is an urgent need to increase humanitarian support for Gaza. It is vital that aid arrives and the hostages are released. Sometimes the importance of lasting peace is only realized when we are faced with the sheer scale of human suffering. Even in the darkest of times, we must not give in to the advice of despair. I still cling to the hope that a brighter future can be found and refuse to give up on that. An Israeli government spokesman responded, the Israelis of course, want to see an end to the fighting as soon as possible, and this will be possible once the 134 hostages are released, and once the Hamas terrorist army, which threatens to repeat the atrocities of October 7, is dismantled. We appreciate the Prince of Wales' call on Hamas to release release the hostages. We also remember with gratitude his statement of the 11th of October in which he condemned Hamas terrorist attacks and reaffirmed Israel's right to self-defense against them. While those like MEP turned reality TV contestant Nigel Farage have responded to William was defended by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who claimed his words reflected the UK government's feelings on the issue. Members of the public may have backed his statement, but royal commentator Richard Kay warned William that he was now entering dangerous and uncharted waters, he wrote in the newspaper. Daily Mail, why he stopped short of directly calling for a ceasefire, as many on the left would have liked, his statement was certainly open to that interpretation in the hope of ending the fighting as soon as possible. I've been told that Prince William also wants to move away from the mere platitudes that are typical of royal statements. If that is the case, we are heading into dangerous, uncharted waters. With the king incapacitated, what William does and says is necessarily subject to additional scrutiny. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.